Today, on the 19th of September, we reflect from the first letter of St. Paul to Corinthians chapter 15 and the Gospel of St. Luke chapter 7. We all make mistakes. We may have a past which is not so nice, but moving from our mistakes and walking forward with the Lord is a possibility that we have been given. In the first reading, St. Paul is making a point that he has had a past which was against the gospel, against the love of God, and he considered himself to be the least of the apostles, although he is very zealous and fervent in his preaching ministry today. And St. Paul is making it a point that it was made possible for him to move forward with the divine grace. And it is in the grace that he could identify his mistake, he could correct himself, and he could persevere in his life and persistently engage himself in the ministry of the gospel. So when we are haunted by our problems, when we are troubled by our mistake, when our past is always standing before us as a hindrance, let us seek the grace of God and have the courage to move forward with grace. This example is very much visible in the gospel message today. Luke portrays the picture of a woman who is not to be a sinful woman, but sparing nothing for herself in her encounter, she comes wholeheartedly to Jesus and make her gesture of total surrender to Jesus. And Jesus is giving us the parable of the debtors, and he says, whoever has the experience of being forgiven more should love more. We are invited to stand in the ocean of God's mercy and forgiveness. And we receive the grace from the Holy Eucharist. We receive the grace from the sacrament of the reconciliation. And there is nothing richer than the sacraments that gives us the accompaniment of God's grace and therefore relying on God's mercy and grace. Repentant of our sinful past, let us ask for the grace to move forward joyfully well. Amen.